Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach my subscriber goal of 10K just recently. I wanted to do this special video as a thank you. So it's gonna be a collaboration with myself and Karu from My Tennis HQ. And we're gonna be playing some mixed doubles with Tiffany and Loti. This is gonna be interesting because Karu is a lot uh, higher level of a player than the rest of us. So what Loti and I are gonna do is try to obviously avoid hitting to Karu but crew might also just be on top of the net and hitting big serves and like making us work for each point. <laughs> you don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> He's assuming that. Well, he might take it easy and let us hit the unforced errors, which is kind of what you did last time I when we played singles. So yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the second time crew and I are playing. Uh, you should check out the first one where we played singles against each other. I'll link that below. No, I think we're good to go. Yeah. I think Let's I'm go. ready to Remember kick some likes, ass. Comment and subscribe. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And follow Tiffany on Instagram. And, and follow Tiffany on Instagram. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Today's video is sponsored by Grip. That's Grip with three R's. The Grip is the cheapest and easiest way to keep your hands dry during a tennis match. It's not sticky or tacky at all, and you can even use it for other sports like pickleball or weightlifting. I personally have used it myself in the gym for pull days, so pull ups and deadlifts, and it really keeps a good grip on the bar. This is gonna be a demo of grip. So first off, Michelle, go ahead and uh, apply a little small amount to your palm and then spread it out. You'll start to notice it's turning white as if you put chalk on your hands. Let's give it some time. It's turning really white. <laughs> like a mummy. <laughs> and now you can apply some water onto the grip and then see how it repels the water. Um, just like what it would do if your hands became sweaty, it would repel the sweat. So if you want to keep your hands dry during a tennis match and play to the best of your capabilities, you can check out Grip on Amazon and you can buy them in packs of 1, 2, 4, and 12. And I'll include the Amazon links below.
Honestly, that was a little bold by me. Like, that could have gone pretty wrong.
No, no, no. Hold on. Last point. So Karu and Tiffany were able to win pretty easily, score-wise at least, 6-1. I think it was a little closer, yeah, uh, game by game, point by games. point. There were a lot of good points. I myself was not able to serve well at all today. I think not being able to serve kind of reduced my confidence in my other shots too. So Karu also did a really good job of just being consistent, steady tennis, not like overstretching himself. Yeah. And like um, playing the steady points and letting us miss. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in this situation, I was, I was playing with someone who like was good at the net. So there's no reason for me. <laughs> so I think I think you know what we talked about in the beginning of the video that um, you got to play to my partner because I'm higher level. It's not necessarily works here because we have someone good at the net. It, it's most basic form doubles. Whoever's at the net is on offense. Yeah. Right. So if you try to overplay into the person at the net, doesn't matter if it's lower level or not. It, you're probably going to lose more of those points. So all I did was try to play fast and deep, and she was going to take the net yep. balls. Yep. Right. Unless you really have like. A, you can crack it down the line into the person at the net. You don't. You shouldn't be hitting to the person at the net. Yeah. That's the, that's kind of basic, right? Yeah. So if you keep it simple that way, and you take the person at the net takes care of what they're doing, usually yeah. you're gonna play your best. Yeah. So. Um, and Tiffany took a lot. Yeah, put away was, a lot of yeah, volleys. she was putting away a lot of volleys. Like if I, you know, obviously if I had a partner that wasn't that good at the net, it's a bit different. But here, there's no reason for me to do anything yeah. besides just play fast to the other side on a cross court, yeah. and hopefully she takes over the net. Yeah. So. In that situation, like I think a lot of people try to play into the down the line a lot, or into the person at the net, thinking they they are the ones who are going to be in offense when you're going to the person at the net, and that's that's wrong. Like yeah. that, you're giving them the opportunity to be offensive. Yeah. So whoever can take over the net first typically wins the ball. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this mix set. Thank you so much for crew to coming out to RCI and Tiffany Loti for playing in with us. All right.